Hi. I've had some questions from people who would like to know how to easily put a square picture into a non-square picture frame. So the next three tutorials will show you how to take your regular square or rectangular snapshot and put it into a frame. First I'm going to show you how to manage when the frame image is flat. As you can see, there's not really a layer stack in this image, there's just a background layer. With an image like this, the easiest way is to use Paste Into. If the inside of the frame happens to be all the same color, like this one, it's really very simple, even if the frame shape is quite irregular, like this TV. Just get the Magic Wand tool. In the options for the tool, set the tolerance fairly low. I'm going to use 5. Make sure that anti-aliasing has been enabled to get smooth edges. And the contiguous is checked, so you don't pick up any pixels outside the target area, like these three circles. I don't want to get those when I'm clicking here. And then you just click inside the frame to make the selection. Now go to your picture. This is a portrait of my cat purr. Select all using Command A, that's Control A on a PC, and then copy with Command C, Control C on a PC. Go back to the frame image and just go to Edit, Paste Into, and there she is. Now what this does is paste whatever's on the clipboard into a new layer in the layer stack, and at the same time it makes a mask, which you see over here, and it unlinks the layer in the mask, which makes it very easy to reposition the image so that it's exactly where you want it. I'm just going to use Command T, that's Control T on a PC, and we'll just resize per. I'm going to hold down the Shift key so that I don't distort her, and make her whatever size I want. Double click to accept the transformation. And I'm going to get the Move tool and move her down just a little bit, frame her better in the image, and that's all there is. Now, if I want to, I can add a layer style. We can go down here to the FX button and choose Inner Shadow, and I'm going to increase the distance just a little bit. I'm going to increase the size a little to give it a, a slightly blurred edge. Click OK, and there you go. Look, purrs on TV. This is very simple to do even if the shape is very irregular like this top circle up here. Just select the background, get the magic wand, click, open up the image you want to use. This is a different picture of Purr. Select all, copy, and paste into. This time I'm going to use the keyboard shortcuts. Just hold down the shift key and then use Command V or Control V, depending on whether you're using a Mac or a PC. And there you go. So, that's one. Now let's take a look at this image. I can't use the magic wand on this because I would be selecting all day. However, it is a nice regular shape, so I'm going to use the elliptical marquee tool to make the selection here. That's up here under the marquee tool. It might be hidden under the rectangular one, um, or one of the single rows if you've been using those, but all you have to do is hold down for a moment and let this menu fly out and choose elliptical marquee tool. And then I'm going to hold down the shift key to constrain the marquee to an absolute circle, and if I hold down the space bar, I can reposition it while I am making it, so I can get it pretty much exactly where I want, and when I'm happy with it, just let go, and I have the marquee. We'll get Purr again, copy, she's already selected, and then paste into, and there she is. Now because I'm using CS4, I have the mask panel. All I have to do is select the mask, click in the gray area to show the panels, make sure that the mask panel tab has been checked, and now I can use the feather slider to give the um, portrait here a nice vignette edge and make it look really pretty. If you don't happen to have CS4, you can do basically the same thing by going to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. But if you have CS4, this will work more easily because, among other things, you can unfeather it, which you really can't do if you're um, blurring the mask. Now, of course, you can add layer styles or feathering or whatever you want to do, no matter what technique you're using to make the selection to paste into. And it's all very flexible, and that's that. So there's two. Next time, I'll show you how to put a picture in the frame when the frame isn't a solid color and isn't a regular shape either. See you then. This has been Robin Wood, and I hope you found this helpful.